Hi guys! Please subscribe to this channel and like the video to support my project. Today we will talk about uh, the Scola Medica Salernitana. It was uh, the first and the most important uh, medical school of medieval Europe. The school was uh, situated in the uh, such Italian city Salerno. It was founded in the 9th century and it rose its prominence in the 10th century. This school uh, became the base of all medical knowledges of that time. In the library of Monte Casino, we keep Arabic and medical treatises. Some of them were translated from Greek language, some were originally written in Arabic. These texts were also translated into Latin. By such way, studies of Hippocrates, Galen and Decorides uh, were supplemented uh, by Arabic medical practice, known from contacts with uh, Sicily and North Africa. As a result, uh, the medical practitioners of uh, Salerno received fundamental medical knowledge. Scola Medica Salernitana is also famous for uh, those that uh, both men and women had uh, the right to study in it, which is uh, unusual for uh, medieval educational institutions. And still not known exactly how and by whom the Scola Medica Salernitana was found, but there is a legend that uh, reported uh, that a Greek pilgrim named uh, Pontus had stopped in the city of Salerno and uh, found shelter for the night under the arcs of uh, the Archino Aqueduct. There was a thunderstorm, and uh, another Italian runner named uh, Salernus wandered in the same place. He was hurt, and uh, the Greek, uh, at first suspicious, approach uh, to look closer at uh, the dressing that uh, the Latin practicing to his wound. Meanwhile, uh, two other travelers, uh, the Juhelinus and the Arab Abdella, had come. They also showed interest uh, in the wound, and at the end it was uh, discovered that all four were dealing with medicine. They uh, then decided to create a partnership and uh, to give birth to a school where their knowledge uh, could be collected and uh, disseminated. But it's a legend. In the book Storia Documentata della Scuola Medica di Salerno, Documentary History of the Salerno Medical School, written by Salvatore Di Renzi, an Italian physician and writer, in 1857, we can find eight different versions how the school was actually created. According to the first version, uh, the school was uh, created uh, by the Salerno Medical Foundation, but at uh, that time uh, the Arabs were the best educated in uh, medicine, and Italy was occupied by barbers, uh, therefore a medical science could be taken there only from Arabs. Second version says that Salerno school founded by an Arab, a Jew, a Greek and a Latin. This version is more closer to the legend I already told, and it's also confirmed by a chronica of the Salerno High School. By the third version, the medical school uh, was founded by Constantine the African. Constantine the African was a physician uh, who lived uh, in the 11th century, and uh, the school of Salernitana already existed uh, when he was born, but uh, his life uh, is uh, connected uh, with the school. In accord with false versions, the doctrines taught by schools belong to Arabic writers. But even before the Arabic teaching, medical treatises and above all pharmacological doctrines were borrowed from Latin scientists. The fifth version uh, suggests uh, that the school could have been founded by the Lombard princes. The history of the Germanic tribe of the Lombard covers uh, the period from uh, the 5th to the 8th century and mainly falls on the period of uh, the great migration of people. Also, the Lombards were probably mentioned in ancient sources from the 1st century AD as uh, one of the tribes uh, that were part of the uh, Suenian Union of Tribes. Their independent history began in uh, the 5th century, when they reached uh, the northeastern borders of the former Roman Empire. 
After the conquest of the Lombard Kingdom by the Franks, the Lombards' own history again ceased to be traced. They merged with the Romano-Germanic population of the Apennine Peninsula. Langobard princes called themselves the rulers of the Sochian Italy in the 10th century. The modern name of the North Italian region of Lombardy comes from the Lombards. Version 6 is based on the opinion that the school was founded by Benedictines when the Roman consul and the patrician Gregory in uh, 694 founded the monastery of San Benedetto in Salerno. Version 7 in some extent unites all uh, the versions discussed above, and the 8th version says uh, that Salerno Medical School is uh, preserved ancient Latin school. So, in uh, the Salerno Medical School, both men and women could uh, study and teach, and this is in the Middle Ages. I will talk about some of uh, the women who became famous in the Salerno School. Trota or Trotula of Salerno was the world's first gynecologist. She was a medical practitioner and writer. She lived uh, in the early or middle decades of the 12th century. Trotula throughout the Middle Ages is so famous uh, throughout Europe that uh, she became an almost legendary figure. So much uh, so that over time someone begins to doubt her real existence and attributes uh, her treatises to the work of a man. Constance Calenda was an Italian surgeon specializing in the diseases of the eye. Calenda was the daughter of Salvador Calenda, the dean of the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Salerno in 1415. Constance Calenda also obtained uh, the degree of uh, Doctor of Medicine at the University of Naples. Rebecca Gana was an Italian physician, surgeon and writer. She was uh, the author of uh, De Urinus on Urine, De Febrius on Fever, and uh, De Embrione on the Embryo. Abella was a physician in the mid 14th century. Abella studied and taught in the School America Salernitana. She was specialized in embryology. Her most known treatises are The Atrabile on Black Bile and The Natura Seminis Humani on the nature of uh, the seminal fluid. Mercuriade. In the 14th century, she was an Italian physician, surgeon, and author of medical works. In 1213, the School America Salernitana was transformed into a university. Educational in Salerno lasted five years, after which was issued a diploma and then followed a one-year medical practice. The teaching of the School America Salernitana are unique and can still be relevant today. In addition uh, to drug treatment, was also used to diet therapy. A separate diet was attached to the methods of treatment of each disease. For example, in the book of aphorisms of the school, we can find postulates that looks like modern medical recommendations. Here are some examples. About strengthening in the brain, get up early in the morning and wash your hands with the cold water. Move your limbs, uh, comb your hair and brush your teeth. It strengthens the brain. About sea sickness, nausea in the sea will not bother if sea salt is uh, mixed with wine. About the diet, how much and how often to eat should be advised by the doctor. Also very interesting is the teaching of uh, the school on the definition of uh, diseases by the color and nature of urine. In the works there were both a detailed description and uh, diagrams. For example, in the treatises of the school it is said that white and liquid urine indicates a serious and final ingestion. White and liquid urine abundant and uh, dilute indicates diabetes uh, mellitus. Uh, lemon urine in uh, moderate liquid uh, state indicates cholera. When studying the treatises of the school, it can be difficult to believe that uh, these works were written in the Middle Ages. It breaks all ideas about those times. 
history still has so many secrets. That's all for today. Thank you for your attention and please subscribe to this channel and see you in the new videos. Bye bye.